Hello everyone, this is Tauri here. I'm casting my own 5 vs 5 League of Legends match. Now, League of Legends replays have been released on the League of Legends website. This is by a third party group. So, members of the community have actually come together to make this program. Now, it's actually at kind of its beta stage. It's still getting developed and it is a third party so if you guys want to use it uh, put the link down below but use it at your own risk it does work perfectly fine for me so you guys can try it out test it out see what it's like I'll uh, post the description down below and like I said this is my own League of Legends 5 versus 5 match I am Maokai the new champion here and uh, I'm teamed up with three of my school friends right now and this is not a high leveled game this is a normal match with uh we're facing around mid level 20 players because uh Timo and me we are level 30 summoners however Morgana and uh Sona are not level 30 they're around level 17 to 20 so we are facing low level players so here you go so this is going to be in the perspective of Maokai because as the how the recorder works is that the replays are recorded from the player's perspective, so if I was the player for this match, I am Maokai in this, uh, in this uh, game right here. Now, I do get E first, his sapling toss right here, Welcome and what the sapling Sonya's toss does Rift. is that he throws one of these little sapling things, and they explode after 25 seconds if they don't do anything, but if an enemy comes close, they do, exp uh, they do chase after the enemy champion and do explode after that. And do explode after 4 seconds with the chase. Now, uh, I do get the Sapphire Cursor and 2 health potions as my starting. And the reason I do throw 5 saplings in the beginning is to charge up my uh, sap magic. Now, sap magic, after every 5 spells casted near Maokai, sapling ready charge. Now. What it, what it does with that, as it says, Maokai's next basic attack will heal him. Now, this does not activate when he's at full HP. So it's actually really good to use this as your move to charge it up before the match starts. So when you get hit, you can heal yourself right away. Now, the saplings do also give vision. So it's it's actually like a jack-in-the-box that you can't kill it. And it's actually visible. Will be so we can see here we have Mundo and Morgana at top in the middle uh, south here and we see oh Renekton does come out here with Nunu at bottom and on the opposite team so we have Renekton, Nunu, Lux, Shen and Caitlyn I'm gonna guess Sh Sh Caitlyn is at mid and probably Lux and Shen oh never mind Lux is at mid right here he's over here at mid and uh, so that means Shen and Caitlyn are at top so Maokai is the new champion here, is that he is actually a tree, uh, tree champion and uh, what his other skills do is push the defense his W skill, he does, uh, looks like Vlad, he does go under the ground for a split second and push the other, uh, other player in place and for his Q skill Arcane Smash, it's a wave attack that attacks things that's aimable in front of him because it's not that big of a range and uh, whoever's too close it does give a quick disable now this disable is actually a split second long how it's very very fast so if anyone's catching a channeling spell or anything of the sort if you use this you'll save your teammates so well and his R skill which I find very useful it's a toggling skill and it does reduce damage to by 20% so I don't know why some people fight out of the out of the circle that he makes. I just fight. You know, so useful. It saves your team so much. I yeah, I have nothing to say about that. So I think players should find that Valkyrie is actually a very useful champion. Some people build him AP. Sapling toss right here. Uh, but I don't think AP is that that effective in a team or a high ego right now. Uh, so you guys can give me some uh, input on that. I do build him in, as a tank. Because uh, of his R, you want that to last as long as possible. So you build some mana and some uh, HP things with a lot of armor and magic. So as you can see here, Sona's at low HP. Sona does have clarity, and I did tell Sona to use her clarity when I am at low HP or low mana at around 100 mana. So this is gonna help me keep my sapling toss up all the time. I do not spam it right now because it does have 
kind of a high mana cost at 70. Well, for Valkyrie that is kind of high because of his mana regen. And uh, right now, top's going completely fine right now. Uh, we are getting pushed a bit hard here. And uh, Timo and Lux are doing uh, fine here. So, yeah, Maokai's actually not bad at champion. And it's actually going pretty well. So I am a new commentator here. This is my first time commentating. I am a bit nervous. This is why I'm actually stopping everyone so often time uh, from casting and talking. So I know I gotta fix that. I hope you guys, uh, you know, just understand for the first cast. I'm trying to get used to this. So I uh, thank you guys for that. So nothing much happens early game over here. This is a low, kind of a low elo man. Oh, a fight does happen here. Set does get stopped. Caitlyn does die, uh, Shen tries to kill Morgana off, Shen goes, Morgana runs away, Shen does go, does he make it, does he make it, Shen does make it, Mundo does try to kill Shen off for some revenge kill over here, uh, does, does he kill, yes, he does kill Shen, Donut does live with this much HP, Renekton is dying, Renekton does die over here, and uh, here's Morgana laughing, and I'm telling Donut to go so. So there were three kills for us right there. One kill for the enemy team. And uh, so that's actually a pretty good start for the blue team. So oh there goes the clarity, so I'm back and forth. Mana. So with Sona, I never go down with like low HP. Now with that sapling ready, Sona is honestly the best laner you can be. Sona does spam her spells. Very useful. If she's my sap card which allows me to heal whenever I'm low HP and my sampling cost I slam it all the time so right here I'm gonna use attack right here and it, it almost heals me a full bar right there and that's totally useful I find that amazing now sampling cost is actually the most amazing harassing tool of the early game it does like the damage scale, base damage scaling as it levels up does so much damage Right there, did 103 damage to the Renekton, that took out almost a full bar. And Sona uh, does also a cheat skill first because of her damage. So over here, we are getting harassed like crazy. I'm getting not much damage here. So everyone's on Kang, let's look at their item list. Morgana did die, does get a boost of speed right after she died. Mundo is currently still at a regal pendant. I find that the very first item for many uh, Mundo players. It keeps up his HP to spam his uh, cleaver. So that's pretty helpful. Oh, Caitlyn does get snared here. Shen tries to protect him. Uh, Caitlyn does run away. Shen, Shen does kill Morgana. Does Mundo live? Oh, Mundo does die too. So it's double kill by Shen. So I think that would be more useful for Caitlyn. So I think Shen and Caitlyn, no, oh yeah, Shen and Caitlyn are going to push this tower up top. And uh, I haven't seen much from mid right now, Timo is uh, luck, so I would expect some uh, fight for a kill by now. And uh, Timo, I think Timo's going out for a gank, so, well not even a gank, he's just trying to kill someone off up top. And uh, bottom, we're just following the bottom really well. Uh, Renekton is one level behind here. And always last hit. All players should always try to last hit their place. Uh, so Timo's actually no. Morgana is actually uh, uh Sorry, let me re-say that. Morgana did ping uh, Caitlyn, uh, uh, so Timo can kill her. And uh, Timo is right now over level at uh, level six. Caitlyn is around level five. So this is gonna give uh, Timo a big match. Timo does run back and, uh, over here. Not much happening still, just a lot of harass. I'm still at full HP, so I'm actually uh, helping with that. Uh, Timo does call mid MIA, so uh, we're gonna back up right here. And uh, so, because I'm a new commentator, I I need to find new plays. I need to find a community I can talk with. So I do have the League of Legends board. However, I did talk with Chloe. I'm gonna post a link to his YouTube page down below. He is another commentator for League of Legends. Pawn and other video games or other games uh, that uh, he likes to cast or he plays uh, which I find really cool I do uh, look at other commentators to look for advice or to look for any other kind of help so that's actually really useful he actually needs to allow me to use his website for help oh Caitlyn does get exhausted Shen does taunt Mundo 
Mundo does throw his cleaver. Oh, and Caitlyn does get snared. Does Caitlyn die? Does Caitlyn die? Caitlyn does not die. Ken does get that off there. And Morgana does run away with a Mundo with a painful death by Morgana does go to Caitlyn, but nothing happens right there. Another fight over here. This ult right there, I do use it, however, they do not fight in it because they are scared of it. Now, the amount of damage absorbed by inside the circle by my teammate with that 70% reduction, every damage absorbed adds 2 more damage and adds a total of max 200 and we're able to send that back at the enemy team. However, you don't want to send that back right away. You want to keep that circle up as long as possible to keep that skill that 20% reduction for your whole team, which is why he's a great tank support. I mean, if he dies while he's doing the circle, I mean, I find that completely useful. We're just trying to get some more out of the tower. It's not, it's not very useful. So right now, the enemy team did catch up and kill. They have four kills for Philosopher's Stone. I, that's my first time seeing one on a Lux. Uh, within my game. That's the first time with boots of speed. The shed should be kind of fed right now. Well, not exactly fed, but he does have a big shield up his sleeve. He does have a Doran shield, a boots of speed, and a dull magic missile. While uh, Caitlyn has the Zerker's Greaves and the Doran's Blade. Now, I think Shen's gonna go for a Mercury Shed next, seeing that he has a no magic mantle. The Teemo currently has a Vision, a Sight Ward. Uh, Berserker's Greaves, a Mana Potion helps him with the Doran's Blade. And uh, so Renekton's actually trying to get some more HP. I think he has HP wounds. He have 1,200 HP. That's a lot. I myself have HP wounds. I have also 1,200 without any HP. Oh, the so I do root down right there. I do slam my Q skill, and you does fly away without getting a chance to shoot. So that's actually, like I said, a very low cost, low cooldown, quick. Quick uh, disable right here. Renekton right does stun. I do give that. Uh, oh, Sona does get exhausted, does die there. And I'm gonna run away. Because uh, I'm, I'm a tank, I'm a tank, I do whatever I want. But I try to save Sona. And Sona saying, what type thing? But uh, I don't really care. I say he does. So, so Toss for having a lot of fights over here. Which uh, I'm pretty sad about because the replay is in, is in my perspective, so I'm, I am unable to see their HP bars unless my camera increases on top of them. So I hope later on if Riot releases the replay, that this is actually possible to do. Like the fog core would be cleared over here. So that's actually pretty annoying because I don't know who's jumping or who's doing what. But uh, so there's actually less to talk about. But we are able to see the items, the HP, how the HP does not uh, show properly from what it is in game. Here, I'm actually getting hit by Renekton. I do almost die, I do get my sapling hit. I do heal up right there. I ask for a gank for Renekton. My skill build for uh, Valkai is that I do max out sapling tossers. So every 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, I do get sapling toss. Get his ult whenever it's possible, so 6, 11, 6, and his W is the next thing I advance because I am a tank support. Now you might be thinking, you know, his Q, you just said his Q is the best disabled in the world. Why not level up that first? Well, it's the, the Q does stay for only 2 seconds. Like I said, it's split disabled. Level 1 is totally enough to give that quick disable. It does not increase it at any other time. And his Q does go under the ground, able to dodge a few spells right when you initiate. Which, and the rooting does help your whole team kill that member off so fast and we're going to see examples of that and it starts off at one second disable at level one but at level five it does double to around the two second disable which is amazing like now i do see nuni here uh i do root him i do throw a sapling in front of him to do that damage i do put the r here who does try to do it timo does die with the lux assault Oh, Sona misses her all. I do root her. I do throw a sapling, but I don't think that's going to be enough to kill us. Now, just stop. People took a lot of hits there, but my ult did that a lot. I'm just going to be talking. I just love Mal. I'm just going to brag about it all the time. Ken just tried to run in here. I do the him. And the sapling's right there. Oh, that's right. Now, 
even just farm this tower. Taking time to take this tower down is so hard. Uh, I do have an elixir of brilliance and a medical. Uh, okay, so let's take that top tower down. No one's blocking the bottom. Uh, does DC for a little while over here. So Timo's trying to run back here with uh, trying to protect bottom tower. And me and Sona are now pushing in. So, my item build for uh, Maokai tank does go as follows. She does get a great, I do get a great shield. Tower. This is for the mana and the armor. And the ability cooldown actually helps me so much spamming these sapling tosses. And uh, the equipment there. Now, it's all, those have 30 seconds cooldown, so it's not like, oh, I can toggle this whenever I want. I can load it whenever I want. It looks like a video, however, it's a cooldown. It has to be used very effectively. Make sure I do not press this anymore. Make sure your teammates fight inside that circle. As they take less damage, I have the best thing I can think of right now. I do root Chen here. Do I get the kill? Uh, the sapling toss over here. I do put the alt in front so I take some damage. However, uh, Nunu does not do enough damage to me. I do turn it off. Too much mana cost. Shen is almost dead. 100 HP. Oh, Sona misses that cube. That was a ton of damage by me right there. 200 damage. So Morgana thinks she can try to get the kill. I don't think she should. Until I say attack the tower. Fine. Whatever is most important. Uh, Morgana does get uh, hit by a lot of towers. Oh, Lux misses her all. Morgana should have died there. But Lux misses her all, thankfully. Uh, Sona has the heal, so it's like a full support here by Sona with the and the heal. Mana and HP. So useful. Oh, Uno does reconnect here. So let's look at Uno over here. She does have a Mercury chest. She's going for that magic chest. As the Alpha CT does have a Lux and a Dish. So 2 HP. And Shen is, wow, 5 kills, 1 death, as a Shen, you do not want Shen as a tank. A so I call for blue right there. Uh, if uh, I get blue, if Mal gets blue, he's able to keep up his skills for as long as possible. Uh, though he does have, I do start to get low cooldown, so I'm able to spam that. Tebow does get Renekton's kill over here, Tebow taking almost no damage right there. And uh, Sona's going for a tier of the goddess and a mani mana manipulator. Uh, we're gonna be walking through that. Attacker. Sorcerer's boots without any other ATI to be one. I do get the payment over here in the brush. Just to warn people that something's gonna happen over here. Shen does, Shen does already have a Guardian's Angel at 16 minutes into the game. That's how fed he is right now. I mean. Wow, that's just amazing. That's 16 minutes of the game. Well, it's not too bad as more high players would know, but in a mid-20s game, that's, that's just amazing. And so, there's three of us in mid. Uh, Timo does call for some help here. Timo can't take a shed with the Guardian to do himself. Caitlyn does try to do some harass here. Caitlyn's headshot and her range is completely insane. A headshot after 8 base attacks gives an extra 150 damage to the champion or 150 damage to the champion. Great farming tool, does charge up twice as fast inside a brush. And so Sona does come down to help us. Now there's 3 mid from triple team. Lux trying to harass, can't do, can't do anything. Uh, Morgana's way up to front, I try to protect her with that ult right there. Look how much damage Morgana took, that was almost nothing. I do take out N Nunu with, because of this ult. And I do stop him. Shen does ult Renekton. I do cleanse out. Now I do run out here. I, I disabled Renekton. Renekton has to run, I do stop him. Uh, Trapper Trap, Nudo does die. I fight Shen right here. Shen's trying to kill me. I do run him into the tomb room right here. He does fall right there to the tower. And I'm gonna try to go the R right there. I do need him. Tower not a tower range, I can't do it. I run away. But uh, as you can see here, that's a full, full use of all. You can try to all slap Maldolf down. All that damage. Oh, I do die from a lot of thousands. But, but as I was saying, his, uh, my ult on top of Mulu's ult almost disables all that damage. Fight in there. Mulu was so useless in that battle. He just made me do more damage within my ult. And that's how Nunu took like a quarter of his HP right in that split second. 
But right now, Lux does have the blue buff, I Because I died with it. And uh, so Teemo and Sonar are coming back to get that. I take out, I say take out mid. Now this is without vent, so I'm actually like trying to type and talk at the same time within this game. And so I'm coming back. I do have a Ruby Crystal and a Sapphire Crystal now. This is going to build for my Catalyst later on. If I get around level 11, I believe. And this allows me to build for Banshee's build to uh, cancel out Nunu's, uh, Nunu's, uh, sta Nunu's uh, slows and stuff. And uh, Shen's taunt is going to help me uh, cancel that out too. Timo does get a few kills. Timo is starting to get fed over here. Timo's at. No, not even starting, so he does get a few kills. And uh, he does get a giant spell. I believe he is building a frozen mallet, if I'm not mistaken. I do say, take out that tower, man. 700 HP, take it out right now. We take less damage. Renekton does run in here. And does stun. We do slain. take out that tower. I slap my ult down. And the enemy team does avoid that ult. Because it's so devastating. It's so useful. I believe Ryan's going to nerf that down. Someone has to go protect top over here. Bot bottom is getting pushed by uh, the minion. So, uh, 4 versus 3 battles in. Sona does get that player here. And uh, he's dead. Oh, Renekton does run in, does use Q. Does stun. Do I, sla I can't slap my ult down. Is that cooldown? Lux does use. Morgana does die. Sona does die next. I believe. Mundo's trying to run like a little crazy boy. I slap my ult down. Nunu uses it. Boom. Mundo does not die yet. I do protect from cases of Mundo does live. Wow, that was a crazy battle right now. I'm trying to kill off Mundo here. However, none of the opposite team died. And from one person from our team died. That was a crazy battle right now. Which is a full, full potential, but a team battle. And even without Venue or any other chance. Uh, to to now, that was. I should say two of my teammates lives. I say Mundo's life with uh, Caitlyn's ult that was leaving. Teemu does run in trying to get a kill. Uh, he does run into the middle of Shen. I don't know what the heck he's trying to do. He just runs. Luck does have that ult again. Luck, Teemu does die without anything at all. That was kind of a mistake by me. I couldn't really do anything. If Shen did try to ult, I mean, uh, kill me. I do die from Shen right there. So, Shen's out of godlike spirit. So, Timo is complaining about lag right now. Uh, I really hate people complaining about lag, but I, he is an uh, real life right? Uh, so I do know what he's doing. I do understand that. Uh, we're gonna guess a snare here. We're not not taking any damage from the Q. Let's get exhausted by Mundo. Is he gonna go down? Mundo does throw his cleaver. Oh, Shen does use his ult. Runs right in. Shen does stun. Sorry, taunt everyone right here. Morgana stuns Renekton. Does Renekton die? No, so he gets his heal. He gets a heal right there. Oh, Cleaver does hit him at the last second. Oh my gosh, the camera just left. Uh, Shen's running. Shen's running. Morgana gets uh, exhausted. Lux does get the kill. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Lux does get that kill steal right there. However, I don't think Shen needs any more kills right now. Mundo's oh, gonna save Mundo. Keep in here. Killing off Shen with his poison. Lulu's like, oh, I'm gonna try to get that kill. He does get that kill. However, I think that was a bit too easy. But, uh, Morgana does die right there. I'm coming back here. Uh, Timo's running in. Morgana does get do that good save with her all. So that was a very crazy battle right there. Uh, so that's a big battle for mid 20. Uh, so it might be not a good for uh, many other people. Now, what I don't like about these mid 20 games is that. It hits around the 20 minute mark. Everyone just pushes mid. Don't push any other outer spirit. Uh, the top spirit or the bottom spirit. Just mostly mid. It's just push, push, push. And I really just like that. Uh, but we can't do anything. So it's just, uh, not many tanks. It's just mostly the mid fights that you like. That's really intense. So I say one person text mid. All, everyone has to push to the other sides. Because I am the highest level with the most experience in my game. So I do get uh, a catalyst to throw that banshee spell. I do believe I built that next. As for the banshee spell, I do feel the guardian's angel. So my HP, I do, I do rely on my uh, my HP runes. I do have flat HP.
sorry, flat HP quintessences, HP per level uh, glyphs, HP per level seals, and uh, magic penetration. Uh, yeah, magic resist penetration uh, marks. Now, I think from that I do. That disables it so much right there. It's not a slow. I do protect it. I do cleanse out. I do put my R down right here. Oh no, I don't put my R. I do snare here. Morgana, does she get her stun off? She does. Uh, I, put my, I put my R down pretty late. But uh, Shen does go down. Sona is not running away. Sona does come in here with Guardian. She did get a Guardian Nation. We're gonna see crazy stuff here. Does Sona live? Yes, yeah, Sona does live. Great shot by Mundo. Sona does live. Sona lives up. No little HP. Does not call it. Well, I am running out of breath. This is the first time coming. I cannot speak fast for some reason. I think I'm just so nervous right now. So please excuse me. Fail commentary right now. So Mundo's telling me to go get the uh, move up with the next track. And we'll farm down the uh, bottom. Okay, do bot. Always push 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 push. And uh, Timo, let's see his item build right now. Like I said, he did get a frozen mallet. Uh, I think he's I'm not sure currently what he's trying to build. I totally forgot what that uh, long sword builds off of. Let's see what he builds. I'm gonna check it right here. Long sword. Uh, does he go for a page? No, I don't think so. Oh, he does go for a last whisper next. There we go. Pickaxe and the long sword. Going to have 40% armor penetration. Now with the latest patches, Last Whisper did give attack speed with attack damage with uh, 20 attack damage. However, they did take out the attack speed, but it still gives the 40% armor penetration. Now people need to remember the armor penetration does ha happen after the flat armor penetration reduction. Same with magic resist. So whenever it says minus 10 magic uh, magic penetration or armor penetration, that applies first before. All the other um, stuff. So I do root down Caitlyn here. I do throw down my ult. Can't use it. Oh, Caitlyn uses it. Shen does ult in here. I think Sona's going to get taunted. I can't do anything to save her right now. New she tries to heal. Last minute. Oh, exhaust. Caitlyn does use that ult and gets that kill. Oh, poor death by Sona. But that did last a long time there. That's how strong Sona's heals are. I don't know why people are saying Sona is so useless nowadays. But they just have to her heals are freaking absolutely amazing. Yeah, amazing. So I, uh, I still think she's viable. I think she's so So I'm, I still have full HP right now. Thanks to Sona. Get that match you heal though. What I do like about the latest patch though is that right now I do have an HP bar uh, thing. I'm gonna see that later right now. I do get an all. He comes in from the back. Mork does go for Morgana. Oh my gosh, Morgana is not in my circle. Takes full damage from Nunu's ult. Morgana gets, tries to use the back rock shield. Does try to live, but I go out of there. Jet talks me. I, can't, I do punch out of that. I do slap my Q. Try to get out of there. I think Nunu's trying to go for uh, Caitlyn. I do run back in. That's one thing you should always do. If you find your chance, run back in. Get that team fight in. Yeah, fight. Fight until you, you know you're not, you know not going to die. We gotta fight for the end. So it does kill Jen. We are starting to catch up in kills. 14 to 9. For purple. 10 for that. 10 kills before that. And uh, the best kills on my team is actually by me. 5 kills and 2 deaths. And people are starting to catch up with 3 kills and 2 deaths. Team was still not. did not build that last whisper yet. I think he's still farming up the end of last three. I am stacked with gold right now. 2.5k. And the Sona does have an Arcane, so that's a very good choice for that time to feel like. Boots of Mobility, not sure why, I guess try to run to support, support us more, which I find very useful. Still has that mana manipulator, which gives us, or me, a great, great mana regen increase, which helps me a lot with my boots up. So, Timo does teleport back, I think he does, he does get a last boost. No! He does get a Madras Razor, I was really strong about that. He is getting a Madras Blood Razor. And he actually checks and the Recurve. My mistake is that he's not thinking uh, that it was a uh, thing. So I tell Muto to get it, but I don't think he's getting it. I'm going to get it. Go with that chapter. Boom! Alright, that's pretty good. Then bounce stuff over here. I go in. W. Oh no, I see Nunu. I walk back. I do W Nunu instead. 
Get that, get that disable. Dude, you can't use his all I do disable him ASAP. Shen trying to save him. Goes for Sona. Nunu, I think Nunu's gonna die right there. I turned off my ult. That was a bot. No, because the fight did not happen there. I do do this with my slap. Link. I do kill Lux right there with that uh, kill. Uh, Caitlyn's getting shot down by Nunu right there. I see Shen. I do stun. Uh, sorry, disable. I do root him. Shen tries to go stun. Slap. I have another disable already. Shen cannot run at all. My captain does steal that kill. Let's see that cooldown my Q right now. 5.1 seconds. I slam. 1 second, 2 seconds done. And then he tries to run away. Root him. That's another 2 seconds. By that time, your Q is already ready for you again. Another pretty good shield. We're not going to close these DPS. He tries to take you down. I have 100 armor. Can't do much damage to me. And he does have low HP when he gets back to the game. Well, I have 4k that 4k gold right now. I'm going to spend that so well right now. Like, I'm just like loaded with money. Alright, I'm going to get probably going to get a frozen heart and a banshee fail. Sona's still joking around going to tell me to get 69, 69 gold. Uh, that's very immature. Very immature, Sona. So, uh, let's see. So, our, our, we're in the jumbles right here. Team was saying, uh, Sona's going to saying, let's go get some, uh, so Mundo's uh, turn on his Q does so much damage on because it's for uh, max HP. And, uh, so I did get a frozen heart, a banshee's will. I did I also did get a blasting one of, of amplifying tone. Because I'm so fed right now, 7-2 within around late game. We're still behind the kills though. You get a Rylice. I'm do I am getting a Rylice next, and this is for the HP and the AP. Now, for normally when I build my uh, tank, tank mount, I do not get a Rylai. I do go for my Guardian's Angel next. However, because I'm fed right now, I can go for a Rylai. I do find my ult in front, throw all of his, his sapling and his ult. But Shen does come in here, fight. Sona does get that good up. Nunu does die. Does Nunu die off? Nunu, I do kill Nunu off. I do, I do root him into the ground. I slap my Q. Morgana uses her ult finally. Shen does have his GA up, Mundo runs like a little crazy boy right there, Mundo does what he pleases, and uh, Morgana does snare him, no one goes for the Lux though, Lux is still at full HP, I slap, do I slap my ult down, no, I do throw my slap wing. I do get the hell out of there, I slap my ult down right there, I'm trying to get that damage, and Teemo does run in, finally with full HP, he does try to kill everyone off, Shen is almost dead, I do root him into the ground, I slap my Q, and he does die off over here, Connection does die off from Teemo, Mushroom, oh yes, yeah, from the, from the, no, the Mushroom did not explode, he just died off, but he does get killed. Caitlyn slaps that trap down, Caitlyn did not see that fight, but uh, wow, that was a big battle. No one left for the luck, though, he did go for the tank, uh, that's a failure, big failure by the team. But then again, you know, it is a big, uh, 20 game. You have to help us the blue buff, right here. And I'm at a I'm again, I'm at a 1.4k, 4k gold, sorry, not even, so, I do have 9 kills right now, and, uh, people catching up with 5 kills for death, Shen is just getting his kill count right there, Lux is still at 5 kills, 1 death, and, uh, Renekton and Nunu, the most tank people on their team actually have the most amount of death and the least amount of kills, and I find that Renekton should get a lot of kills to get that gold up, all he has is a full of mana and a long sword, and Caitlyn does not have any damage items actually. No wonder Caitlyn was doing so little damage. She does have a banshee though. She has 95 attack damage and 300. So Muno's gonna help uh, Morgana get the blue. I'm telling you, Muno, let's push that tower. Muno's there. Muno's there. Muno's there. Muno's there. Muno's there. 179 damage. Shen does run over here. He does get killed by Muno's uh, mushroom. And uh, what I like about this replay system right now after the patch, after the uh, use the community patched it, the uh, group patched it. Oh, but uh, Timo does stay, uh, what is camouflage right here. Shen does try to kill, I do slam my ult, ult on top of Nunu's ult. Sona does die here though with that reduced damage, I do cleanse out of there. Morgana's trying to help me over here with that uh, black shield. Nothing happening right there. For me too, I do get out of there. Shen runs inside the mushroom. And Lux is over here. I do have two Lux. I'm going to put that sapling top for some vision. So, always use that. Slam that. Boom. So, I don't do that much damage right now. 
Oh god, it does kill with her ult. Just steal that blue. Still has that blue buff. She will run in, does get taunted. Does get taunted right there. Uh, Lux flashes away. Caitlyn's over here. Chet, does Chet die over here? Chet starts to run away. Renek is still alive. Does try to kill off Morgana. Chet kills off Morgana. Shan's that low HP. And Timo does kill off Chet with 90 HP left. And I'm still at full HP. I don't. I, I get creep off right there. So I can't go for the Caitlyn right there. However, wow. Timo is so lucky to be alive right now. Let's go back. Morgana does die of painful death in that last battle. So, Shen and Renek just taking that battle so hard last time. I think, wow, that's a lot of armor they have. That's, uh, 58, 5, 50. I think he's had only way over 200. I, I still haven't got my rival. I'm so fast like I'm like, Lux, well, you're not gonna do anything to me. I'm just gonna slap you around. Get that ult down. The ult, however, does, does not reduce power damage. The turret damage. So do not use it to tower dive. That ain't gonna help you at all. So please be careful of that. So I'm gonna run here. I'm gonna say B. Because uh, not Timo's not here. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna buy my right like Timo, I think he's gonna go for the red buff right now. Yes, he does. Um, so he does have a war mod. He built that kind of like stacking up those uh, the stacks for his HP and uh, health regen. Uh, he does have a no magic with a mantle. I don't know what he's gonna build that into yet. I'm gonna test that real quick right now. So I'm gonna try to memorize all these item builds because I think that now you guys uh, are it's gonna make me so much less though. So I'm gonna try to help uh improve them. Chan does get Morgana's always in the front right now. She does get taunted, pick up her as bait. And uh, so my camera vision's not there yet, because I'm still running back. Uh Lux is all the so much damage. Uh, Morgana and Stone are at low HP right now. Shen is over here with low HP, but he does make it out. He is a tank. Now, what I am... Oh, Nunu does come in with the back with, with the... Uh, Sona takes like no damage from that fully charged. And uh, Nunu does die off. Suicide right there. I'm at 3k HP. So, as you can see, my HP bar is more yellow than green. I do have an HP bar so I can notice where my where my uh, character is at, my champion is at, at any instant when, when they bring you your champion is at. Now uh, they're gonna try to defend. Oh, that almost dies right there. Shen tries to run in. I'm gonna say, you know, gonna fight right there. I'm gonna get better run. So, uh, I'm gonna die right here. I'm gonna die right here. Oh, no, I do make it out alive. Oh, wow, very high. Oh. Banshee's Veil does save my! Oh my! Banshee's Veil does save my ball right there! Oh my god! Morgana does not kill me with the slowest reaction time. I don't know if it was a cooldown without slow reaction time. But still, that was an amazing save by Banshee's Veil. Now, like I said, the HP bars right now, uh, with the latest tag, they did add the new shield to the eye. So whenever there's a shield, uh, armor shield, or damage shield, it does come out white inside the portal. So that actually helps for you know, how much you need does that shield have. I don't, like, no more guessing. That's actually very useful how you're unable to see that with my HP bar, uh, HP bar uh, change right now. So I think, I'm gonna ask you guys, uh, if you don't like this HP bar right here, uh, and you wanna see the shield UI, the shield white bars and the magic shield uh, purple bars, Please tell me, I am going to remove it if you guys want me to. Uh, that's actually going to, uh, I guess that's actually going to help you guys to enjoy the game, to enjoy the commentary more. And uh, so that's actually going to be pretty useful. I find if you guys find it useful, it's going to be helpful for you guys. The so Bundus has come over here. Let's uh, gank them right now. So I think they're going to help me get the blue buff right there. I do steal with my sapling. I don't know if uh, they wanted it or I wanted it, but so purple does fail to surrender right here the surrender time did go down with the latest patch there's now 20 minutes to surrender the 5 versus 5 game uh not uh, 25 and in a uh, twisted tree line 3v3 map it is now 15 minutes renekton runs too far i do root him slam him down can't make it out dies so fast and mundo with so much hp people have so much hp too uh me and my friends when he builds like this Timo builds like this. We call him the tank Timo. He does have a frozen mount. He has so much HP. He's still a lot of armor for Timo. So I think that's totally useful. 
so he does get a Malady himself, so we're gonna kick out the tower. Lux goes way too far, does get Sun here. I don't have my ult to block that, though I do disable Nunu. So Lux is trying to run away, I'm like, I'm like, nah, no, screw Lux, go for the Caitlyn, can't do anything. And I go for, I think I go for the Lux here, can't make these Lux run way too bad. So, uh, Shen's over here. I'm gonna wait right here, so I'm gonna be like, yo, I know Shen's gonna come right here. Oh no, I do make it down. Wow, that's some crazy thing. Right? Shen dives to Guardian Angel right now. I slap my ult down, can't do anything. I run back up, Rudo slap down, wait for my teammate to catch up. Uh, I don't think, can we kill him off? I'm not sure. I do try to run, no, I don't make it. Uh, Morgana does die over here. Blowing everyone down, oh my god, that's a lot of damage my people. And people just like, yo, Renekton, come over here, I'm gonna kick your butt. I do lose Renekton down. At HP, I don't know how fast that HP went down right now. That was like 5-6 seconds. Team was just crazy damage right now. Wow. I don't think the opposite team built that much magic resistance. So they are right now. Team is armored. And he does not have any much uh, armor penetration. Does so much damage. Even though that's uh, the magic damage from Magra, it does get me. I'm saying, alright, take this power down, I'll take this lead. And if Shen comes along, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. He's just like, alright, I'll take this lead. And so, even though I come back, trying to pick up that inhibitor. It's actually, I find that it's a pretty long game for a big one. And then again, you're facing some good level money because you're a poor man team. The so Rudy's like, yo, I'm gonna kill you right now. My Banshee's build doesn't do anything. Timo just attacking non-stop right there. Rudy can't do anything. Misses that ult. Oh, oh, misses by love. Well, that was a long ass laser. Gotta be careful. Lost the laser. Right there, the PP laser. Timo's like, oh crap, I'm gonna run right now. I, I try to save Rudy. Rudy does have his ult. He's gonna come in with the heal. Wow, that was amazing. I'm gonna slam my ult down right here. Renekton dies, split, I die right there. Renekton dies, I get the kill from my sapling. So, Shen does get uh, ulted by Sona, Shen does die off. Mundo does kill that off. Mundo's running in here, tank Mundo, Mundo does what he believes. So, oh, that was a bad, bad thing to tap out Mundo right there. Anyway, so Mundo's gonna tank those in turn. We're gonna block that. Black Shield is nothing. Black does not have enough HP. So, uh, Luna's gonna block uh, Lux from California. Block back Lux! Like, that far, you lazy. You're not asking for death right there. So, I say, let's get Baron. So, but I'm, I'm dead right now. So, I think I'll, I, I just want to get Baron. We'll get Baron. We'll get Baron. Uh, so, look at my death is never. No damage. I, I was just the only reason I'm so high right now because I was at a 360 So that's so high. Renekton does have uh does do like so little damage. Alright, my team's gonna pick up there right now. So the only people that do so much damage right now is uh luck for AP. But uh, I do have my Guardian's Angel, my armor is at almost 300, and my magic resist is at 100. We do get Baron right here, we're gonna try to end the game. So I'm gonna try to get... Oh, no, they do surrender here, and the game does end. Uh, great swordsmanship right here, though, except for Lux. Uh, Lux does uh, give bad swordsmanship, saying that Renekton is a bad player. But that was a very good game, I found that was a very good game. So I hope you enjoyed this cast, I'm going to be casting another game real soon, except the next one is going to be a high elo game, so uh, look out for that and I hope you enjoyed this, thank you, I'd look for your advice and your tips, thanks very much. Thank you.